So what we're gonna do next is uh, kind of an experimental form of treatment. It's called flossing. If you're in the powerlifting community, it's something that you probably know by now. So it's a form of compression-based therapy where we take this elastic band and wrap it extremely tight around the joint. And what that's going to do is if there's any sort of adhesions, myofascial adhesions, um, fluid buildup, it's going to release that. It's going to help promote more nutrient-rich blood to come in. I'm gonna wrap it around the joint super tight. I'm gonna go through some range of motion. I'm gonna take it off and then you can see that blood rush coming in and it's gonna feel really good. Say it again? Over here at Ally Stretch with the steamroller, doing whatever needs to get done to get him ready. UFC 295. Let's do it. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Boom. Boom. See you, brother. All right, see you next week. Living the dream. It's not gonna get any better than this. It's all, it's all downhill from here. Nah, nah. This is it. The best is here. It's not getting any better. Gotta love it. Hitting and pushing the sled every day. Let's get it. Anything else? <laughs> oh, I love I love this profession. I love it. What else would I rather be doing? Nothing. I fuck about a million, I keep in a train, resilient they energy off. My image is got reaching deep in the pot. I got features of people I love. Yeah. RP on me. TT. The melanin on me, my cheekbone is native to soil, is my wild walk. Eh. Some even saw me, my nigga go figure, my enemy make enemy scoff. Eh. Admit it, your energy off. Eh. My frequency killer, you soft. Eh. I show people love, they act like they above. But switch when they see me, I'm lost. Eh. I tell the truth when I talk. Eh. Niggas wanna be me. I used to sleep in the car. Till my girl when it crashes in the oh. car. Now I got a crib down the street. Eh. Young niggas oh. so far. Eh. I never oh. lose what I'm on. Eh. But now I'm cool being me. Eh. But I need you to match what I'm on. And you wanna play games when I want. Hey, I play with cash for the fun. <laughs> Women looking at me, she think I'm needing her on. I'm doing me for me, hun. I never needed no one. I never bleed around sharks. They say you are what you eat. Ah, uh, not my house! Not in our house! That's it, hard work. Hard work pays off. Hard work breeds confidence. I'm gonna beat this guy. I know I can beat this guy. I'm putting the work in. I'm gonna be ready to beat this fucking, this motherfucker. Not in our house. He ain't coming to our house and gonna push me around. Hell fucking no. It was good, you know. Pushing that sled and hitting those pads for 10 minutes straight is not easy and uh, We've been doing this like every camp. It started out with like three five minute rounds of you know pushing the sled and hitting the pads. And then Coach Longo tricked me once and we did like a, a 10 minute straight round. And now it's like tradition. We always do a 10 minute round. And uh, I'm all, it always gets me on point. We're at the old stomping grounds, my old high school. About to go watch the boys play a nice football game, pump them up a little bit. You know, I came up just like these guys came up. So let's go, uh, let's go pump these guys up. Beautiful day for some football. Beautiful day to put somebody in the fucking dirt. <laughs> fucking go, boys. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to put somebody in the dirt. Not in our house. Nobody's coming to our field and pushing us around. Hell no. Let's go, big game, big game. Let's go boys, let's go.
Dog's coming. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. guys are in the trenches. This is where the game is won. It's won on the line of scrimmage. So I want you guys coming out there, shooting your hands and driving. We'll own that line of scrimmage, all right? This is game day, all right? This is not practice. These guys aren't your friends. These guys aren't your teammates. Put them in the dirt. Put them in the fucking dirt today and flip the switch. Just like I said in practice, this is the time. Let the dog out today. Let the dog out. Turn it into a dog fight. And we never lose dog fights. All right, guys, have some fun out there and put them in the dirt. Let's fucking go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Put them in the fucking dirt. Flip a switch. Flip a switch. Let's go. What time is it? What time is it? Any dogs in the house? Any dogs in the house? What time is it? What time is it? Any dogs in the house? Any dogs in the house? Let's fucking go, dogs. HF Pride on three! HF Pride on three! One, two, three! HF Pride! Fucking go. What up, Ray Guys, you guys played hard out there. Listen, the beautiful thing about football is you guys got next week. You guys got one more game this year. One more game. Next week at practice, you remember this feeling. That you guys practice hard and you end the season strong. You guys go and beat Sayville's ass next week. Take out all this frustration on Sayville next week. All right, guys? You guys played hard, and I'm, I'm lucky to be here and watch you guys play. You guys inspired me. Because he cares and because he remembers walking this hallway just like you. Alright? He remembers this feeling and he remembers that winning feeling. And he only wants what's best for us. So a big thank you to Maddie for for coming out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, bro. In the next fight, man, we know you're gonna knock him out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. 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 Today, dog. Oh, happy Monday. Always like to start the week off at Acceleration Sports Training with my man Steve Wilk. A little lower body today. Yeah, a little lower body workout today. It's on the, we're on the last program, so it's all fast twitch, explosion, and get me get me fast, get me explosive, and keep me strong. The approach today for the workout is really to get his nervous system to fire off. So figure about three weeks out of his fight right now. So we want to make sure that the movements are explosive, he's getting plyometrics in. Previously we were focusing more on ultimately developing his strength and now we want to really turn that strength into power. So he was doing depth jumps in the beginning. We had him over there on the rack where he was doing functional isometrics where he's holding for six seconds on a rack pull and going right into an explosive movement. And obviously all the time just trying to keep him healthy as well. Yeah, we're like three weeks out. This is uh, really the week that I, I push it the most. I'm really 
trying to push it, but I'm cutting back on calories because I still got to get my weight down. But this is the last really hard week. And, you know, I sparred yesterday. I woke up. I got a lot of bumps and bruises. A lot of things are hurting me. Um, and on top of that, I'm back on antibiotics for some shit on my back. It's a tough week. I'm cranking the training up, cutting back on the calories, trying to take care of my body and my my small injuries, and, uh, and you know, working hard and dialing in. I woke up this morning and like everything was hurting. My, my foot was hurting, my hand was hurting, my back was hurting, and um, I was heavy. So like it wasn't a good feeling this morning, but I got my ass up. I packed up for the day and um, I showed up and, and I'm, I'm at strength and conditioning and I just crushed it at strength and conditioning. You know, my body was good, my foot's good, my hand's good, my back's good. And um, and I feel great now, you know, like mornings are always tough because that's like when I'm the most sore. Sometimes I, I roll out of bed and I'm just like, oh, my body, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so sore, but I show up. I show up and I put the work in. And uh, that's half the battle sometimes is just showing up, putting the work in, and uh, everything will, you know, fall into place.